All right, so today's kit is going to be the real grade Sazer uh, So after building the master grade Sazer for the car, I've kind of really wanted to get my hands on this one. Uh, so this one came out in 2018, so it is quite updated from the master grade Verka. Um, and also it's a real great so it might have those inner frame problems but I've heard amazing things about this kit from other builders um, and a couple of the other reviewers so I am quite looking forward to building it uh, let's get that up so hopefully we'll get a bit more in the frame I do apologize for the white sides of the box <laughs> this is my light box uh, that I use to primarily film things in and um, <laughs> It's not quite big enough for the box, so I'm really glad I didn't <laughs> try to fit the Master Grade Sazabi kit in here, because it definitely would not have fit. Um, so this is going to be a bit of a monster, I think, for the most part. Uh, it looks like I've already opened the box at some point, so let's pop it open and get this good stuff in here. So this all looks pretty familiar. From the last time I built uh, the Sazabi, uh, it is a huge stack of uh, runners and stuff like that. Uh, deep in here, bottom one. So we've got the sticker sheet, and it is um, it is a sticker sheet. So uh, anyone that's looking for water slide decals, you'll need to find them somewhere else for this kit, unfortunately. Um, but for me. Uh, like I've said in previous reviews, I am a big fan of sticker sheets. So, um, <laughs> mainly because I'm just terrible at doing uh, water slide decals. So, it's quite cool. Uh, it's a bit of a different color coded system inside of the manual here. Uh, we have uh, all the different parts going on in it. I am really looking forward to building this kit. Uh, I think I might need to get some new nippers at some point soon though. Uh, my nippers are starting to... Uh, have seen better days, but I've built something like 70 kits with them, so <laughs> they're not doing too bad um, But anyway, I hope you enjoy this build. Uh, I definitely know that I will uh, It's probably going to be a bit of a longer one in comparison to other 144 kits um, and even the other a couple of other real grades that I've done uh, So let's just jump into it <laughs> and fingers crossed this time I don't miss the build of the top half of it like I did with the master grade Let's just give it a go.
Alright, so today's kit is the real grade Sazi B. I had a little bit of fun on the Gundam Build Australia's Facebook page, so some of you may have already seen this, but <laughs> this kit is so cool. I love the Sazi B Master Grade Vercar um, for one simple reason. It's a huge kit and it was really fun to build. It took a couple of hours. Uh, as you can tell, I'm still kind of in the setup stage here, uh, but this whole thing is solid as. It's a really solid kit, it's a really strong build, um, it's quite a firm kit as well, so all the parts sit really nicely. The only trouble I really had was I had a couple of problems in this chest area here, um, where the piece keeps separating every time I move the ball joint. Um, some trusty pliers and a bit of force that I couldn't apply with my own two fingers, um, managed to squeeze the part, the, the um, shoulder joint down enough and into place properly so that it no longer pops out so I probably shouldn't have done that it was probably an easy way to do it but uh, it worked <laughs> so yeah um, this guy is humongous as as with the master grade for car um, the, the 144 scale is equally ridiculously huge so he's easily um, this gym comes up to mid chest level on him um, and yeah, it wouldn't stand a chance in a straight up combat, which is why Chara Asnabal is such a baller. Uh, now, the kit itself, uh, its articulation is a little bit limited in certain areas, um, like the shoulders and the arms. Uh, the one major problem that um, it comes with uh, is that this weapon never really sits properly in its hand. Well, it sits well in the hand, but never really sits well on the arm. Uh, the the end of the weapon of the rifle is just a bit weird uh, and it, it doesn't work quite as nicely as I'd like. But um, one of my favourite parts is easily the shield. I love the shield on the Sazabi and the um, and the St Andrew. The shields are just so much cooler for Xeon for some reason. Uh, I wish it wasn't the case but it is. Um, the colour separation is great. There's a number of stickers, like the sticker sheet is pretty substantial and I have used quite a number of these little silver ones just kind of like as highlight tones. Uh, there's the camera ones, but you don't really need to use the silver ones. Um, the only ones you might want to use are the camera ones, so the green one in there on the eye. And that's about it. You don't really need the silver ones. A lot of them are hidden away. The only ones that really, you can't probably see them, but the only ones that are really visible all the time of these two on the shield so aside from them you don't really need to use any of the others it doesn't sit in quite as well as I'd hoped I think the shoulder was bumping it out there we go there we go um, so yeah like the like the real uh, like the master grade uh, this one's going to get a really high score um, this one's actually going to get a better score than the master grade so the master grade used poly caps this one does not. I'd only used like four of those like internal framework parts that um, the real grades were notorious for, and they're on non, uh, not quite so important parts like the shoulders, and uh, and the waist. So that's really really nice. So this thing is an easy nine out of ten. Uh, it's still not perfect, obviously, because pretty much nothing is. I'm likely to only ever give out of a, 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 a ten out of ten score once in my entire life. I'm yet to come across a kit that pushes me to that point. Um, so yeah, this one is an easy 9 out of 10. Uh, real grade is fantastic. It's much more um, achievable price point over the Master Grade Vercar. Um, the Master Grade Vercar is pretty much double the cost of this guy uh, at about 180 AUD um, for the Master Grade. This one being about 90 something AUD. Um, this one here I did also get as um, a self birthday present I guess you could call it. I was really lucky uh, I went into Hobbyco uh, and was able to find this just sitting on the shelf despite it not being on their website. So I picked this up along with the paint that I was actually there for and um, spent probably a little bit too much money but that's fine. Um, this kit is totally worth every every dollar that you spend on it. Uh, anyway I'm gonna uh, tidy up my workspace, get editing and get this up uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like this, please subscribe, follow me on the on the socials, stuff like that. And I will see you in the next video, which is going to be either the Zeta or the Ale Strike Master Grade. So um, look forward to that, and I will see you next time.